Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all, to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for being here. It's back. It is back. No one saw this coming. It's not like this happens every year, even though it does, but I'm trying to be dramatic and come up with some sort of introduction. I know that the reactions right now are mixed. And I know that some of you, a percentage, not all, but maybe around like 35 to 37.2%, have this look. Tell me it's not back. Tell me that it isn't true. Well, it's not true, but it still is. The McRib is back. Yes, McDonald's has, uh, has done it once again, though. They have brought back the McRib. Uh, granted, this is like a, you know, I would say an annual event. It's celebrated by some. Others are terrified of this day. But it happens. Every November, the McRib makes the rounds once again. Now, quite frankly, the McRib from McDonald's is one of those, I would go as far as to say iconic, menu items. Uh, here's what it is. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's a plane. It is actually piloted by McRibs, believe it or not. And speaking of, the McRib is a seasoned boneless pork patty. It comes with barbecue sauce slivered onions, dill pickles, and it's on a bun. Now, the price, I've heard that the price has varied by location, and it seems to be quite different state to state. Um, I've seen this available anywhere from, I think, three to five dollars or so, um, but there have been some outliers, so that's just what the price is, but it seems to be affordable and reasonable at this point. I've tried out the McRib before. I tried it out in 2018, I tried it in 2019, and yes, I tried it in 2020. So you might be saying, well, you know, you've tried it out three times already. I mean, what's, what's the point of trying it again? And that's what I was even thinking to myself. I was thinking, is there, is there a reason to even try this out? I wasn't going to review it. That's why you didn't see this video come out on the 1st of November. I thought to myself, well, I've tried it out three times already. I mean, what's, what's the point? I was looking through the comments, though, on the, the YouTube channel. I noticed something interesting. I noticed a, uh, a rather interesting trend. Not only were the requests still coming in, people were saying, could you try the McRib again? I'm, I'm looking forward to the McRib review. I was even getting emails from people who wanted to see me uh, retry it. But there's an interesting little twist to some of the, the correspondence that was coming in. Not everyone, but a percentage of people, and I don't know if these are just McRib haters, as they say, or not, um, but a percentage of people were saying the McRib isn't as I remember it, and um, the quality might be slipping a bit. They're saying, you know, I don't know what it is, but when I was trying the McRib in 2021, it just wasn't what I was hoping for, you know, and I might even be a big McRib fan, and it just, it wasn't meeting expectations. So that started getting, you know, the ideas and, and, you know, the gears turning. And I was thinking, well, maybe these are just people who don't like it. I mean, again, the McRib is one of those things, and I've said it before in my reviews, some people are going to like it, some people are not. So who knows? Maybe it's just that percentage. But has something changed with the McRib? I don't know, so I'm going to find out today. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give the previous ratings that I've personally given this item, and we're going to compare it, and we're going to see how it's been. In 2018, the first McRib I ever had, I gave a 7.9 out of 10. In 2019, there was an improvement, an 8.6 out of 10 I gave it. In 2020, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. So admittedly, in 2020, that was the lowest score that I've given it. Um, what does that really mean, though? Who knows? A 7.5 is still above average on the 1 to 10 scale, and uh, we'll just have to see how this turns out. Those are the golden arches right there. And you can see that's fake seepage. That's not real. 
that's fake. Now you could interpret that as the sauce coming out, or you could say that this is a little tongue sticking out of the box, and that's a smaller tongue, because we know the anatomy of McRibs pretty well at this point, so who's to say? But in this box, indeed, I have the McRib right here, and you can see those two things are known as pickles. Let's open it up and let's see what we have. Okay, there it is in the box. And here it is outside of the box. Let's get a good view of it. Well, I do see already, and I think this is indisputable, it is looking a little lighter on the sauce than previous times, admittedly. But still, you know, fair to good sauce coverage. You can see the onions and the pickle and the McRib itself on that bun. Let's open up the McRib. Again, though, look. See it for yourself. Not a lot of sauce. Not a lot of sauce. I have, and granted, now, I'm not a frequent McRib consumer. As a matter of fact, the three McRibs that I have previously reviewed are the only three I've ever had. But in terms of sauce distribution, definitely is the lightest I've seen on a McRib. What does that really mean? Who knows? I'm going to get a couple thumbnails because we know those are important. Here's number one. Number two. We'll get a fairly close one. And just know, it's all right. I know that this can be kind of silly, but if you're doing a video, the thumbnail's important. Going for the inquisitive look this time around. But a happy one just to be safe. I know I'm going to be able to do something with all that. It's going to be fine either way. So, that said, I'm going to quit wasting your time. Let's see if it's maintaining the standards or what's going on this time around. McRib from McDonald's going in. If you can hear that airplane, that's just piloted by a pilot. Well, you know, I go into this with an open mind each time, say to myself, well, look, if the item's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And I'm, that's how it's going to be. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, play the game and say that, oh, something's good because I think this and it's going to be this, you know, or whatever. I just don't pick favorites. It's just if the food's good, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. If it's bad, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. The last three McRibs that I had, 
I enjoyed, I, I found them to be enjoyable. I, I understand where people are coming from, though, when they said in the comments that something was different about the McRib this year. I'm not going to go as far as to say, though, that this is indicative of something on a chain-wide scale. I may only say that perhaps the one that I received was indeed subpar, because yes, it was. Uh, it definitely was not as good as the ones that I've had beforehand. That's not to say that the McRib itself is bad. Like I said, of the last four, including this one, three of them were good. Problem that I have with this is um, really about three separate things. Number one, most importantly, lack of sauce. You could see that yourself when I debunded it and we were looking at it, and you could see even under it, there's just not a lot of sauce on this McRib, so that's a problem. Every other McRib that I've had uh, had a lot more sauce on it, and, um, you know, that's definitely something to just take note of. So, the sauce is one of those things that would really make it. Uh, I, I enjoyed the, uh, the barbecue sauce. It had a nice little tang to it as well, and it usually complemented both the pork, but it worked so nicely with the uh, onion and the pickles as well, and I think it's one of the things that made the McRib, uh, you know, such a, a fan favorite, so to speak. So the lack of sauce, I think it illustrates, though, just how important the sauce is on an item like this, because my goodness, what a difference even just a little more sauce versus what I got makes. But that isn't the only thing. Even if the correct amount of sauce was on the McRib, there's two more problems that the sauce wouldn't fix. All right, here's the next problem. And this one I had uh, last year, actually, so I still notice it. That's actually why I gave it a slightly lower score last year. Um, the McRib was still a little bit dry. And by that, I mean the, the meat itself. Uh, you could just tell it was just a little bit, it wasn't as juicy as it used to be. And that still holds true. Um, again, looking at the cross section, you could see that, you know, it's just not necessarily teeming with any sort of moisture. Uh, so that's definitely still the case. Third, though, and this issue, just like the first one, is only apparent this time around. And this is a pretty serious issue. The McRib that I had tasted like it was a little overcooked, believe it or not. And um, as I was biting into it, I noticed the dryness, but I noticed this sort of burnt char to it as well, which I've never had on a McRib before. Um, normally it would be quite tender, and, uh, you know, you wouldn't have those sorts of issues, but last last year it was just a little drier. This time, though, it's dry, and, um, like I said, it's a bit, uh, a bit overdone. Not to an extreme, I would say, but to the point where it's noticeable, and it's like, yeah, you know, it seems like this was cooked a little too long, and uh, it's starting to show in terms of the flavor. That's not to say that this doesn't have redeeming qualities, though. In uh, one bite, there was a little glob of, of the sauce um, that was mixed in with the onions and the pickles, and it kind of replicated that original McRib experience, which was quite nice. But to have only one bite that was like that, when previously, when I've tried the McRibs, every bite was good, and you could revisit the videos yourselves and take a look. You could see that it, it just it did look different. And it tasted different, it tasted better. And uh, that's the indisputable fact here. Like I said, though, I'm not going to sit here, because some people, I think they take this as an opportunity to just pick at the entire chain and they'll say, this is a terrible product, and it's reflective of McDonald's as a whole, and they're gonna, they ruined the McRib, etc., etc. Um, yeah, the one that I did receive this time around was subpar. Maybe that is reflective of something on a larger scale. Maybe it's not. I think it goes to show, though, that uh, there is variability when it comes down to, to fast food. It's dependent on the circumstances, granted. But maybe those folks in the comments who are saying that something is different about the McRib, uh, you know, maybe they're onto something. We'll see. So factoring that in, either way, I don't think I'm going to go that far. Um, but it certainly is an interesting experience this time around, considering how it used to be. Out of 10, yeah, this one is getting a lower, uh, a lower rating. I'm going to be giving the McRib from McDonald's this time around 
uh, I am going to have to deduct a number of points. This is only going to get a 5 out of 10 because there were some bites that were still enjoyable, but by and large, not the experience that I was used to, not the experience that I've gotten before. You know, McDonald's, they're one of those chains that uh, they're hit or miss sometimes. Lately, they've been putting out a lot of good products. When they do, they don't release stuff as often as they used to, but uh, like every chain, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This is one of those items, though, that it might be different for you, so I still encourage you to go out, check it out, try it out, see how it compares to the one that I got, and um, I am personally curious. If you get a McRib, um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. How did yours turn out? Are you noticing something with them, too? Did, did yours kind of wind up this way as well, or... You know, is it just me? So I'm interested in uh, in seeing your reports as well. So feel free to leave one. That's all that I have for you. Maybe we'll try it out again in uh, 2022. And uh, hey, maybe it'll be an improvement at that point. We will see. Either way, until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.